two. So example one was the spur of the moment one with Luke walking. In example two, we're given an equation. So given that 4x minus the quantity 3 minus x plus 2y equals 7. We want to write this linear equation in standard form, then slope intercept form, and then point slope form. We're then going to graph the equation and we're going to determine what the two intercepts, both the vertical and horizontal intercept, are for the equation. Go ahead, try this on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. For standard form, I want to get my equation in the form ax plus by equals c. So I need to simplify my equation and then get both x and y variables on the left side and any constants on the right. First I'm going to simplify. I'll distribute the negative. So I get 4x minus 3 plus x plus 2y equals 7. I can combine like terms. I get 5x plus 2y and I'm going to move this negative 3 to the other side by adding 3. So I get 10. This is my standard form. I'm going to use the standard form to solve for the following two forms. Okay, slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept is of the form y equals, here we go, y equals mx plus b. So what I'm going to do is I'll use my standard form, but now I'll solve for y. I start with 5x plus 2y equals 10. I then get 2y equals negative 5x plus 10. So y equals negative 5 halves x plus 5. Or you can write that as y equals negative 2.5x plus 5. Either way works. And then lastly, we want point slope form. For this, we want a point, and we want the slope. Well, from my slope intercept form, I already know that my slope is negative 5 halves, or negative 2.5. Now, I need to find a point. Honestly, I think it's easier just to plug in a value for x and solve for this point. So I'm going to plug in x equals 4. I get y equals negative 5 halves times 4 plus 5, which is the 2 and the 4 reduce negative 10 plus 5, which is negative 5. That gives me the point 4 comma negative 5. Now I can take all of this and plug it into the general equation of y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where our point is the x1, y1, and our slope is m which means I now have y minus negative 5 equals negative 5 halves times x minus 4. So y plus 5 equals negative 5 halves, negative 5 halves x minus 4. To graph the equation, I prefer to use slope-intercept form. I'm going to write the equation up here in slope-intercept form. We have y equals negative 5 halves, and I prefer using a fraction, x plus 5. I'll draw my axes. Make sure that you number them. Okay. I already know that my y-intercept is 5. This means I have an ordered pair of 0, comma, 5, since y, my y-intercept is the value of y when x is 0. So I go up, I'll find 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that gives me my point 0, 5. Then I look at my slope. My slope, which is negative 5 over 2, is change in y over change in x. It's rise over run. Since it's a negative 5, I want to go down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then over 2 to the right, giving me the point 2, 0.